because most of the species I've seen have been flying over. So look up. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> We're going up to the Baudo mountains. We're just going flat, but we are climbing up to 1,000 meters above sea level. And there I was 65 years later, I think, with a camera crew, you know, in, my, in the footsteps of my hero, David Edinburgh, looking at this Picatarty. So, and it was a simply amazing bird. No, this is cool. At least we've had the, adren the flock See? adrenaline, you exactly. know what I mean? Like the buzz exactly. of something crazy and new and different. It's those moments in life that you, you imagine that life is still being lived in a certain way. But, you know, we live in metropolitan areas where to see people still living that way organically, there's something that, that's just so romantic about that in the 21st century. And to experience that firsthand, it left a real impression in my mind. Oh, it's a job. It's a job. Come, 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 come. Said earlier that you're not really that that keen on on birding by boat, and our guide Natalia was kind of, you know, giving you some giving you some yeah, a little hard time, like a little bit of a hard time about it, perhaps. And but actually, the funny thing is, after all of that hard time, Ta -da! so you got a lifer from a boat. Male spill bowers to woo females, and there are often little archways or other structures that are made of sticks, and they're often very symmetrical, beautifully crafted. So we're here in Mexico City. Uh, we had half a day to spare, so we decided to do some urban birding here in the Bosque de Chapultepec. And the hummocker was just here, in this next little ridge here, not in the top, but in this one. So we're getting closer. Some red flowers here that he was visiting. Well, you know, we thought, take advantage of the fact that we're here in Bogota. But we went up to uh, Monserrate, the mountain just on the fringes of Bogota, sort of 3,000 meters to a new uh, a new trail they've opened up there with hummingbird feeders and a nice view of, uh, of the canopy. And we've got some nice species, got some nice species. Urban birding taught me was to look at everything because you had to work so hard to find anything. You know, you can't be on a lovely wetland or up a mountain. You are in the street, so you have to work hard. So it taught me to look at everything twice. And also, I mean, in that mixed flock that we were seeing, this crazy big mixed flock full of loads of different species, one thing that stood out to me as a really beautiful bird that I've seen a few times before, but isn't common where we are in Colombia, is a stunning male cerulean warbler. Yeah. So like on a burning trip, you have an incredible day, you see something like a harpy eagle, and you know, you sit down at the end, you do the bird list, you drink this beer, you say, damn, this was one of the best days of my life, you know?